In this video, we're going to use the adjoint solver to optimize the downforce created by this two element wing. Let's start setting up the case. So let's start with the inlet. So let's say the inlet has a velocity of 10 meters per second. And let's apply the same velocity to the ground plane as we're modeling the car driving forwards. Let's keep the default methods and let's create a report definition. We're going to be creating a force report and we're going to be monitoring the downforce created by the wing. So let's call it downforce. Let's change it to a lift force and apply it to the wing. Downforce will point in the negative y direction and let's write the solution to plot and print it to console. Okay, let's now disable our convergence criteria so we can converge on an adjoint optimized solution. So we'll just head over and we'll say no convergence criteria. We can now initialize the solution, so let's just use the standard hybrid initialize. And let's run the calculation for 200 iterations. Let's now review the results of the simulation. So if we go to graphics, we can view the pressure contour. And we'd also like to see the pressure distribution on the surface of the wing. So we can have a look at the XY plot of that. And let's report the total downforce. So if we go to reports, report the forces, specify in the negative Y direction. We can see that our downforce generated is around 74.7 Newtons. Okay, now let's begin setting up the adjoint solver. So if we go up to the design tab and we select observable, we're looking to optimize the downforce. So we need to create an observable that will measure the downforce. So let's call it downforce. Let's scope it to the wing and apply downforce in the negative y direction. Hit apply. And we're aiming to maximize the downforce, so we'll keep that. Okay, now let's best match our methods. So if we hit best match, we can see that second order is matched to second order, and least squares is matched to least squares. Okay, now let's begin calculating the adjoint residuals. So let's specify a maximum number of 100 iterations, and let's start calculating. Now that the adjoint residuals have converged, we can now go over to the design tool. Uh, we want to set the wing to be the morph geometry. We'll use polynomials as this produces a smoother curve. We'll head to objectives and we'll target a change in the downforce to be around 20%. Let's hit apply. So if we draw the region that we're going to try to adapt, so if we hit get bounds over the wing, we can see that it fully covers the wing geometry. Now that that's complete, let's start setting up the gradient based optimizer. So this tool will iterate over adjoint optimizations until we, re until we reach a design target. So we've already specified the design target to be 20% using the design tool. So here we're going to set the number of design iterations to be around 20. Uh, let's leave the default convergence criteria and let's keep these as default. Okay, now let's create some solution animations so we can watch the solution change as we iterate through adjoint optimizations. So to do that, let's go create solution animation. Let's use the contour that we created for pressure and let's call that pressure animation. We want to record it after every design iteration. Let's save it to the adjoint test. Let's preview the view. That looks pretty good. So let's use the active view. Okay, that's set up. Now let's repeat the process for the XY plot of the pressure distribution over the wing surface. So if we select XY plot, 
choose design iteration again, save it to the same spot, let's call it uh, X, Y animation. And that's set up. Okay, we can now start running the optimization. So if we hit initialize, and now we can hit optimize, and it'll start solving for us. Okay, now that the solution is complete, we can have a look at the total downforce generated. So as we can see, the downforce is now increased to 80.3 newtons. Now we can have a look at the solution results. So if we go up to results, solution playback, we can have a look at how the pressure distribution over the wing has changed over the adjoint optimization. And we can watch how the pressure contour has changed.